Hey guys, so I thought I would start with the most popular hack. It is putting a little bit of tape on the edge of your eye to create the perfect wing. This honestly makes my life so much easier. So clean it up a little bit after you pull the tape off and most of the time it will look perfect. Boob contouring. So this was actually my first time trying it and it was kind of fun, but it was a little bit hard. So I was taking a darker foundation in the hollows, well, making my own hollows and then highlighting the bits that you want to kind of stick out a bit more. So it's kind of like contouring and highlighting your face. It's just on your breasts. I think it really works well with the collarbones, but didn't really do anything to the boob area. I don't think I'll be using this, but it was fun. Hey Shani, how do I get a streak free tan? Well honey, you're at the right place. <laughs> so all you have to do is get a really big fat powder brush like a makeup brush and just brush away at your tan and it gets rid of all the streaks and it also works really well with blending the tan into your hands and on your ankles and knees and stuff. It just works so well. Would definitely recommend this if you have a spare powder brush laying around. If you only have a pressed powder, you can still bake under your eyes. All you have to do is scrape up the powder a little bit. It works the exact same as a loose powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte and I was so impressed when I did this. It works the exact same as my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and it is so incredibly highlighting. Look at that! Beauty Blender is my favorite makeup tools ever. So I'm filling up a disposable water spritzer with water and I'm just using this to spray my Beauty Blender instead of having to go under the sink with it. So this is really helpful if you're traveling or if you're just super lazy. <laughs> This one's perfect if you want a really chiseled cheekbone, so all you have to do is take like a business card or a blush in my case and just bronze as you normally would, except this is going to leave you a really nice sharp line, so obviously go back and blend it out and you are fierce as they come, girlfriend. So this one is quite important. When you're brushing your beautiful luscious locks, you want to start from the bottom of your hair and then work your way up just so you don't have any breakage. Oh yeah, girlfriend, break it down. <laughs> Did you know that you could use eyeshadow as highlighters? So just take a champagne pearly shimmery shade and put that on your cheekbones and it works pretty much the exact same. If you are using Makeup Geek eyeshadows, be very careful because they are very pigmented. So tap off that excess. This one is actually pretty cool. So if you have a broken powder product, all you're going to have to do to fix it is break it up even more. I mean, it's already broken. You may as well do it more. Don't be afraid. And then take some rubbing alcohol and pour this in until it gets a little bit wet and sloppy. And then you're going to take like a tissue or something to absorb the excess product up. And it's kind of good as new, except it has a weird texture to it. If you don't have any eyebrow gel and your brows are all over the place, all you have to do is take some waxy lip balm and just pop that straight in and then not go on anywhere for the whole day. This smells so good by the way. I was like living for this moment. If you want a really crisp eyeshadow line, all you have to do is take some scotch tape on your hand to get rid of the stickiness and then put it straight on your eye. Do your eyeshadow as normal. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this in my videos before. If you're new, please subscribe. And then once you pull it off, it looks so clean, so crisp. Love it. Now it's time to clean our makeup brushes. So Johnson's Baby Shampoo is the best way to go. It's honestly the cheapest brush cleaner you can get. Well, technically it's not a brush cleaner, but it works just as well. It cleans them 100%. I definitely recommend this stuff. Eyeshadow Fallout. Oh my god, guys, how annoying is it? So all I'm doing is taking some scotch tape with a sticky side on the outside, wrapping it around my finger and gently patting on the fallout. And there it is. Voila! If you have trouble applying false lashes, maybe try this way. So just put some lash glue right on your lash line with a little brush and pop the lashes down and they have nowhere else to stick but on the lash line. So easy. I'm praying to God that you guys already do this, but just in case, I want to let you know it is extremely important to change your pillowcase at least once a week because there's lots of buildup of dirt and dust and all of that gross stuff and that causes breakouts, so make sure you do that. If you guys want your lips to look a bit more plump, try doing an ombre lip effect. So just line your lips with any color you want and then doing the darker shade on the outside of the lips and the lighter shade on the inside.
And last but not least, if you guys want your lipstick to turn matte, just take a bit of toilet paper and peel it in half so it's a really thin layer. Take some translucent powder and pat that all over your lips and then your lips are matte without buying a matte lipstick. <laughs> so there we have everything. I hope you guys liked it and found this fun or 